Because of the predator's capacity to learn, the non-toxic viceroy has survived by trading on the reputation of the monarch. It pays to advertise. In the tropics of Central America, the game of hide-and-seek has Baroque variations unheard of in the temperate north. Even the trees seem menacing. They conceal a poisonous vine snake stalking its well-hidden prey. It waits, motionless as a branch. A thunder and lightning snake coils ready to strike. It vibrates its tail sounding like a rattlesnake, but it's harmless. Its aggressive behavior only a terrifying bluff. The shy coral snake is neither camouflaged nor aggressive. Its colors are a clear warning. Its venom is one of the most lethal in the hemisphere. But it has such small teeth, its bite is not always deadly. So like the monarch, it can teach without killing. And like the monarch, wherever it occurs, it has mimics. In Texas, there is the gray-banded kingsnake. In the rainforests of Colombia, the South American milk snake. In the thickets of the American deep south, the Louisiana milk snake. In southern Mexico, the Puebla milk snake and in northern Mexico, the Sinaloan king snake. The most common pattern among coral snakes has the bands arranged in this order, red, yellow or white, then black. But even the experts have to remember the old saying, red next to yellow will kill a fellow. And for the harmless mimic below, red next to black is a friend of Jack. But the snake has to hold still long enough for you to count the rings and recite the poem. How would you choose if you